beauties, welcome back to my channel. Just in case you missed my last video, I want to quickly mention that this Saturday, May 25th, is Nordstrom's Mascara Madness Sale. So it's buy two mascaras, get one free. There will be more information down in the description box in case you're curious. But for today's video, I'm going to be doing a full review on the summer 2019 collection recently launched by Shantakai. As with most of their collections, everything in today's video is limited edition. So if you see anything that piques your interest, I highly suggest you jump quickly. First, I'm gonna go through and I'm going to show you all of the products, and then I'm gonna rewind and show you how I apply them to achieve today's makeup look. Summer 2019 is very different from the previous Polar Ice collection, packaging-wise especially. These colors are far more bold and vibrant. They're a lot more fiery as opposed to arctic and icy. And I'm going to begin with the three new lip veils. These each retail for $48, and a portion of the proceeds goes to Elephant Family, which is a nonprofit organization based in India that helps to protect the elephants. There's Mandevilla, a vibrant watermelon pink, Frangipan, a vibrant coral, and Pink Lotus, a warm rose. I'm going to try all three on at the end of the video. There are three new aqua blushes. These are cream blushes that come in this great little pot, convenient for travel. They retail for $44 each. And the formula is really unique. It's cooling, it's water-based. They go on sheer, but they have a very natural finish. The first time I swatched these on my hand, I was blown away because as soon as the product dried down, it did not budge from my hand. So this is truly a set it and forget it product. There's Gladiola, a cool, fresh pink with light shimmer. Marigold, a warm coral with light sparkle. And Red Ginger, a strawberry pink with a pearlescent finish. Last but certainly not least, there are two new Real Bronze Bronzers. These each retail for $78, and there are two shades. There's a lighter and a darker. So we have Sirena and Goa. Not only is the external packaging very beautiful, but they have this gorgeous sunburst mandala motif embossed on top, which is really beautiful. If you're still on the hunt for the perfect bronzer for summer, you cannot go wrong with either of these shades. Even if you're very fair or light-skinned, you could do either one, and it will give you this perfect, natural, sun-kissed glow. Starting with bronzer, I'm going to begin with Sirena. This is the lighter of the two, and with my giant fluffy brush, I'm going to apply this one to the right side of my face, and then I'll go in with Goa to the left side, so we can try them both. It's very pretty. It goes on so sheer and very lightweight, but they are supposed to be buildable. But even with just a small amount, I can definitely see a difference. It gives a really soft, natural bronze. So if you are naturally light-skinned like I am, this would be a beautiful bronzer on you because you can be light-handed if you're incredibly fair, but you can build it up to more of a medium intensity as well. It has a little bit more of a red undertone, so I would say Goa is not only deeper, but it's a little bit more red and warm, whereas Sirena is a little bit more of a neutral to yellow bronze. So if that makes a difference to you, you could use that to help you decide which one to get. They're both really nice. There's not a huge difference between either side that I can tell. But I would recommend if you're more fair to light skin to go with Sirena. If you are more medium to deeper, you would go with Goa. It's as if I can see the color payoff on my face. I know I'm applying the bronzer and yet it just looks like natural skin. There's not a lot of powder. It's not really even detectable on the face. It is probably one of the most natural bronzers I've ever tried. They're very pretty. 
I'm going to quickly even out my bronzer on both sides and then I'll come back and we'll try on the blushes next. Unfortunately, there are three new blushes and I only have two cheeks, so I'm going to try the Marigold and the Gladiola. This is the more warm coral and this is the lighter pink. Red Ginger is also very beautiful, but it's a little bit deeper and I think this would probably look best on somebody with more of a medium skin tone. So because I am a pale girl, I'm gonna try these. So I'm going to start with Marigold. And you have the cap, of course, but then there's this little protector, which I read on the website that they recommend that you keep this to help the prevent drying out. So this is not something that you want to throw away and it's almost too beautiful to use. It is so pretty. And you can apply this directly. You can use your fingers, you can use a brush. I'm gonna go ahead and just try this quickly with my Duo Fiber Brush. This is typically what I use for a cream or a liquid product. So I'm just gonna swirl that around. And then, let's see. I'll go on the right cheek with this one. That is so pretty. Again, it goes on so naturally. I love using the Duo Fiber Brush because it helps blend and apply everything smoothly right off the bat instead of dabbing directly on the skin and then trying to blend it out before it dries. Although you could, and I think with fingertips you would be okay as well. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more. It's probably a lot more blush than I would normally wear, but just for the sake of showing you the color. And it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, a little kind of pearlescent luminosity, which is very pretty. It's subtle, of course, because it's Chantecaille. So as recommended, I'm going to put on that cap. And then let's go in with Gladiola. This is the brighter pink. Again, take that off. It's so beautiful. For the sake of trial, I'm gonna use my fingers. Let's see, I'm picking that up. It's so sheer, I can barely see it on my finger, but oh yeah, it's there. It's really just as easy. So you can use a brush, you can use your fingers, and it is cooling on the skin. It feels really cool. Using the fingers, I can tell a little bit more the consistency and the cooling kind of watery feel of the product versus the brush that I couldn't really tell. Or maybe my fingers are just cold, but it definitely feels cooling. It's very pretty. This is more of a traditional flush pink blush. I think this is really beautiful for spring. Definitely great for fair skin tones, although I think you could use this if you are deeper, medium, and you just like a pink blush. This one has a little bit more warmth. It's a really pretty coral color. Really nice for summer. They're both really beautiful, and I know it says they go on sheer, and of course it's buildable, but you can absolutely get a really bright, punchy blush look with these products. I didn't use that much. You could keep going if you really like a bold cheek. Now I'm going to even out my blush and then I'll come back and we can play with these lipsticks. The first lip fail I'm going to try on is Frangipan. This is the warm coral. It is the perfect complement to the marigold blush. It gives off a lot of pigment. I love this color. This is the perfect color for spring, summer, vacation, the warmer months of the year when you want to dress in bright colors or light colors. It's definitely poppy, so if you like a brighter, bolder lip, this would be perfect for you. You could pair this with a warm, kind of golden eye. You could do something light. You could wear it for evening. 
it feels really smooth and hydrating on the lips. And even though these are supposed to be a little bit lighter and more sheer because this is the Lip Veil formula, there's a lot of color here. It's beautiful. The second lip veil I'm going to try on is called Pink Lotus, and this matches beautifully with the Gladiola Aqua Blush. They're both this beautiful light pink, and of course you can mix and match, but it's nice that each blush kind of has a corresponding lipstick. Match if you want to. <laughs> This is very pretty. It's a beautiful, sort of medium intensity, warmish undertone pink. But this is really my kind of pink. It's not in your face. It's not too Barbie or fuchsia or over animated. It's really lovely, very wearable. I think you could do this again, day, night. It's more spring, summer, brighter, poppy, but it feels really smooth and it's kind of this perfect, Pink, if you're looking for just a true pink, not a coral, not a red, strawberry, whatever, this would be a really great option. The third and final lip veil is Mandevilla. This is a more strawberry red, and I think it would pair really beautifully with the red ginger aqua blush. This is really pretty. Okay, so now I'm torn. I thought if I had to choose one, I would go with the Pink Lotus, but now that I have this strawberry red, I think this is stunning for spring, summer. It is such a beautiful color. It's not a true red. It's not too warm or too pinky. It's just this really pretty strawberry shade that is gorgeous. I think you could wear this with any eye look, day, night, it's not something that I would probably grab every single day. I think that's why I was leaning towards the Pink Lotus, but it's a unique color. It feels really nice on the lips and it just gives a nice vibrancy. This shade is also very beautiful. It's really tough to choose. All of these pieces are really gorgeous. Using all three new pieces from the collection, this is the final look. Overall, I think the Summer 2019 collection from Shantikai is gorgeous. These are some of the best bronzers that I've seen launched recently. The lipstick shades are beautiful, and it's so nice because they give back to a greater cause. The cheeks are so cute, so perfectly convenient. The color range, even though it is limited, they're perfect for summer, so there's something in there for everyone. And that completes today's video, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. As always, I will be linking the entire new collection and everything I used today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.